It is amazing to see the Republican establishment falling apart. They are losing it. They are running scared. They don't know what to do with themselves. And it is amazing. I am, I am very surprised. I didn't expect this after the Republicans lost the uh, campaign to become the, uh, for Mitt Romney to become the next president of this great nation. They are falling apart. They're literally losing it. Now, this may turn out to be good because maybe these guys will just quit and we can vote in Tea Party Republicans. You know, like Alan West and others. I want to play you some sound bites here, and I'll take your calls on it as well. Um, Mitt Romney was uh, on a phone conversation with his donors, some of his donors, after the election ended, and he was explaining to them why he lost. I want you to hear that first, and then I want you to hear the responses from the establishment of the Republican Party. What the president, uh, the president's campaign did was focus on certain members of his base coalition, give them extraordinary financial gifts from the government, uh, and, uh, and then work very uh, aggressively to turn them out to vote. Among those groups the gifts went to, Romney discusses the African-American community, young people, and the Hispanic community, here offering one of the gifts to them. What the president did is he gave them two, two things. One, he gave them a, a, a big gift on immigration with the DREAM Act uh, uh, amnesty program. And the second thing in order to get Hispanic voters? Number two, uh, put in place Obamacare, which, is, which basically is $10,000 a family. I mean, it's a proven political uh, uh, strategy, which is give a bunch of money from the government to a, to a group, uh, and guess what, they'll vote for you. Sources telling me this has been Romney's argument since the moment he realized he'd lost. Telling his closest circle the very next morning that America is becoming an entitled society. That some Americans are asking for government to solve problems for things they can't afford. The giving away free stuff is a, is a hard thing to compete with. And just when you thought this election was behind us, a tweet from David Axelrod, the top Obama strategist, saying, still looking through America through that 47% prism, Mitt tells donors the takers did him in. And, Diane, we learned that Romney also talked to Bill Clinton after the election. He said on that call today that Clinton told him, I thought you were going to win. Then the hurricane happened. Romney using the hurricane in his discussions, too, as a reason why. The amazing thing is that Romney told the truth. He told the absolute truth as to what the fallen Messiah did. And when he told that truth, when he spoke that truth, the liberal media and the godless Democrats had a hissy fit. Now, that was expected. You know, Democrats don't love the truth. Liberal Democrats don't love the truth. They never tell the truth about anything, all right? But they had a hissy fit. But what surprised me was the Republicans who jumped on board and are now attacking Mitt Romney and, and, uh, and the uh, conservative voters. They call them the far right voters. It is absolutely mind blowing. Uh, Romney is no longer running for office, so truth is uh, the truth comes out easier when a man has no personal ambition. Romney is no longer running, so now he can just tell the truth. And the hell with what you think about it. And and, and if we all didn't have any personal ambition ambition. We can tell the truth, too, but when you feel like you're going to lose something, you cannot tell the truth because you're controlled by that. You don't want to lose friendship. You don't want to lose family ship. You don't want to lose a job. You don't want to lose money. You don't want to lose advertisers. You don't want to, you want people to like you. So you're not going to be able to tell the truth. But I have to tell you, I, it's funny to me now. I was surprised at the reaction of the, the Republicans when I come back from this break. Uh, not only am I going to take your calls, for, but I am going to play some sound bites from people that I was surprised uh, would turn on Romney in this manner. It is absolutely, it blows my Amerifro off. Back in a moment.
I want to give you examples of the Republican Party. The Republican members falling apart. Uh, they don't know what to do with themselves. They're trying to cater to the Democrats. I guess they're trying to cater to the liberal media by attacking Mitt Romney. I say shame on these people. And these people will be remembered the next time we have to vote. And we're going to vote them out and put in Tea Party Republicans who are not afraid and who will not try to appease the Democrats. It's just to get the votes. They're not going to get any votes by going along with the Democrats. The Democrats are just going to up the ante. They're going to give folks more stuff. In the meantime, making a fool out of the Republican Party. We got to stand on our platform, stand for family, God, country, freedom, capitalism, constitution. Let's play the governor of Louisiana first. Do we have him? Bobby Jindal disagreeing with Romney at a a conference, a Republican governor's conference. Uh, Well, if this is completely unhelpful, this is not where the Republican Party needs to go. Look, we want, if you want voters to like you, the first thing you've got to do is to like them first. And it's certainly not helpful to tell voters that you think their votes were bought. That's certainly not a way to show them that you respect not them, you like them. Tell we them need the to truth. stop talking down to voters. As a Republican Party, we need to fight for 100% of the electorate, not 53%, not 52%, but 100%. We've got to stop trying to divide people into different groups by what? race, by gender, by, by, uh, by class. Instead, we've got to show them that our conservative principles will help them pursue the American dream, enter the middle class, do better. This is completely not helpful. This is not where the Republican Party needs to go. We need to stop being the dumb party. We need to offer smart, You'd be dumb right now, intelligent sir. ideas and policies. That's how we win elections. We don't win elections by insulting voters. Again, if you want voters to like you, you've got to like them first. Telling them their votes were bought is not helpful. It's not true. This is not where the Republican Party needs to go next. Shame on you. See, he wants to be like. He wants them to like him. So they'll vote for him. The truth is love. The Democrats want to be, well, I don't know if they want to be light, but they take care of folks. We don't do that kind of stuff, sir. Spoil people, corrupt them. I'm surprised at Bobby. Bobby, no. Bobby. Somebody help Bobby. And here is uh, Chris Christie uh, agreeing with Bobby Jindal. Uh, This morning, we've been talking about Mitt Romney's most unfortunate conference call yesterday, where he talked about Barack Obama winning because he gave, quote, gifts to minority groups. Um, You're seen as a leader. Do you agree with Bobby Jindal? No. It was a terrible thing to say, and it was said terribly. Yeah, sure. And and listen, I think the bottom line of what the conversation was, I was in Las Vegas yesterday um, uh, with the governors, and what we all said was um, that it's time to pivot and move on. You know, the, the leaders of the Republican Party in America are going to be the Republican governors. And, it, and one of the reasons why you have 30 Republican governors in America and why we're the only organization to add Republican strength, House lost members, Senate lost members, we lost the presidency, we went up from 29 to 30 Republican governors, is because people see us getting things done, so, like so, this. So, getting things done for people, and that's what we have to emphasize and talk about. I don't think this is a core philosophical examination we have to go through. Right. What this is, is about doing our jobs. And, and people expect that if they give you the privilege of serving. Do your job. When I saw Chris Christie do that photo op with Barack Obama just before the election, I knew then he had lost his mind. Something happened. This, something happened with Chris Christie that he's no longer a tough guy. Because that was a setup to do that just before the election to get with Barack Obama whilst campaigning for Mitt Romney like that. And Obama went in there and used him and left. Something up with Chris Christie. And I hear that he's running again. He's up for re-election. Maybe that's it. I, but he's making Republicans angry. He's not going to get their vote. Um, here's Chris Christie. This is from MSNBC, by the way. Uh, Christie says, this is, uh, Christie says about Romney that you can't be the leader of all people. And divisive. So, so explain to voters thing out there to what what Mitt Romney said. Uh, explain why he was so wrong well, in, just, in his statement. Uh, no, he's being you used right be now. Of all the people and be divisive. Okay? You hear that guy? You, you, you have to talk about uh, about themes, policies oh, yeah, that okay. unite people. 
and, 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 and play to their aspirations and their goals and their hopes for their family and their neighbors. And, it, and oh, I always hate this kind of scapegoating after elections. I mean, when you lose, lost. Someone asked me the other day, why did Mitt Romney lose? I said, because he got less votes than Barack Obama. No. That's why. And, and the fact of the matter is that more people in the country Lord, decided the president mercy. was the right help way to go. Jesus. I voted for Mitt Romney. But the bottom line is we lost. And so now what we need to do as leaders of our party is pivot and get back to our jobs. And if we do our jobs well, people will put us back into office. And if we don't, they won't. Is it time for me to move on and stop having conference calls? Uh, that's up to him. Yeah. I mean, listen, I, Mitt Romney's a friend of mine. I, I understand yeah, what a he, friend. Is, he is very upset about having lost the election and very disappointed. If you are a friend of Mitt Romney, I wouldn't want to see what it's like for you to be his enemy. Here is Newt Gingrich. He even weighed in on this thing with Mitt Romney. We had some controversial comments this week by Governor Mitt Romney in a conference call with donors. Let's listen to that. What the president, uh, the president's campaign did was focus on certain members of his base coalition, give them extraordinary financial gifts from the government, uh, and, uh, and then work very uh, aggressively to turn them out to vote. If you want voters to like you, the first thing you've got to do is to like them first. And it's certainly not helpful to tell voters that you think their votes were bought. This is completely not helpful. This is not where the Republican Party needs to go. What do you think of that? Is that where the Republican Party needs to go? I just think it's nuts. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean for, first of all, it's insulting. This would be like Walmart having a bad week and going, the customers have really been unruly. <laughs> I mean, the job of a political leader in part is to understand the people. If we can't offer a better future that is believable to more people, we're not going to win. And, and Mitt Romney is nuts, according to Newt. And Newt is the guy who said that Obama is a full stamp president. Remember that? And the Democrats and the liberal media have a, had a hissy fit. He called Obama a full stamp president. What is uh, Romney saying that Mitt, that uh, Newt didn't say? And last but not least, Mike Murphy, a Republican political consultant, said that the GOP ideas can't be the right, can't be to the right of Rush Limbaugh. This is from uh, NBC Meet the Press. I think they'll get a punting deal, but I want to quickly respond to one thing, because it's very fashionable now to beat up Romney, and he made an unfortunate comment after the election. But the biggest problem that Romney had was the Republican primary. That's what's driving the Republican uh, brand right now to a disaster, and we've got to get a, a, a kind of a party view of America that's not right out of Rush Limbaugh's dream journal. I, I don't, I, I don't, I do understand. These are weak men. Weak, pathetic, ego-driven men. White folks, y'all better wake up. I have no idea what you're thinking. You show this type of fear, you will be wiped out. All you're doing is encouraging your enemies to hate you more. You're making a horrible mistake here. Back in a moment, folks.